Today we are out revisiting the LCP Max versus the Bodyguard 2.0 with the euphoria of a new gun worn off. We're going to try to give it a fair shake. So let's see how that goes today. We're going to get the video started. In today's video, after I snap, when you see me wearing this hat, I will be playing the part of the ultimate Ruger fanboy who thinks the LCP Max can do no, no wrong. When I have my cowboy hat on, we'll say that is unbiased bacon. Okay, so keep that in mind for later in the video. All right, a little snap there to make sure my cameras are synced up. Today, we are taking a look at the Ruger LCP Max. Probably the greatest pocket 380 of all time. Against the new Bodyguard 2.0, it's time we find out how well this new fangled bodyguard 2.0 stacks up against the Ruger, stacks up against the Ruger LCP Max. I anticipate it being a close contest here today. We have six inch targets set up at 10 yards. I will shoot the LCP Max at our left hand set of targets. The bodyguard 2.0 I'll shoot at our right hand set of targets. We will be shooting Blazer 95 grain full metal jacket ammunition today. Why don't we start at the top right hand target of each target. So with the LCP max, we'll do the top right target of our left hand target. Here we go. Okay, after my first two shots, next eight, pretty well on target. Let's see if our next 10, we can replicate at least that. Here we go. Okay, we might have a few to the left, a few low. We'll have to count up afterwards with these targets. It's hard to get a good, they splatter nicely, but when you have multiple hits, it's hard to really count up the precision. So we'll have to do that after the fact. We at least put hits on paper. Let's see how we do now with the Bodyguard 2.0, top right target of its target. Here we go. Okay, we'll have to math it out. Unless I completely miss the target, our 10 yard grouping for the L, for the bodyguard 2.0. It looks from here it looks like we missed the target all but maybe three times. So first round to the wait, wait, we got one more magazine to do my life. Hold on. Let's see if the second magazine does any better. Here we go.
Okay, that magazine only had nine in it because the box only had 49. It had like, there was an odd number. That's not on me miscounting or whatever. That's the box. Anyway, I don't know. I maybe hit the target two more times. So far, it looks like the LCP Max. So far, it looks like the LCP Max is kicking butt. We're going to do one magazine through each firearm. And what I'm going to do is five double taps at the top left corner for each target. Here we go, starting with our LCP Max. Let's see how it does with the double taps at the top left. Here we go. on that what I did was I did my first shot at the bottom one my second shot at the top one right yeah that's our story we're sticking to it <laughs> all right let's see if the, how the bodyguard 2.0 here we go top left hand one to call right here. We definitely have to see how it stacks up on target man. There might be five in the top target of of each of them. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to check. Okay, after round one, the LCP Max, as we saw, put the prettier holes in paper. After round two, the double tap challenge, we saw the LCP again kicking butt. Put four hits on our paper, six hits off the target. It completely annihilated the bodyguard. <laughs> hits not on target category. To settle things once and for all, I have loaded 15 rounds of Blazer into our magazines. And we're going to do five shots right-handed, five shots left-handed, and then at the bottom of... The bottom of each of our targets is a little orange sticky repair dot. The last five shots we'll do in our two-handed grip at that sticky repair dot to see if we can hit it. Here we go. We're gonna start LCP Max right-handed at the left-handed target. Wow, that backwards. Here we go. Epic Turbo. Here we go. See if we can make that stick. Okay. I feel like we had. My side's got to be loose or something. Uh, I, I can't do it with the LCP Max. The bodyguard's not good. 
bodyguard got no chance. Here we go. I don't know how I hit it. Okay, I, I think I need to get my glasses checked. From here, it looks like I hit it four times with the bodyguard. That can't be right. No way I hit it at all. If I, if I couldn't hit it with... Let's see if I... I don't know, maybe I'll scare the sticky dot off the page. Here we go. My side's got a loose or something, that's the only way to explain it. The LC P Max remains the king of 380s. Maximum concealability with a 10 or 12 round or even more capacity. I don't even need to say more. Greatest 380 ever. You know the Bodyguard 2.0 is a thinner firearm, don't you? Don't make me use my pocket sand on you. You know the Bodyguard 2.0 is 8 tenths of an ounce lighter, don't you? Sha sha sha! <laughs> With five days of shooting the Bodyguard 2.0 under our belt now, and new gun euphoria safely worn off, it's time that we revisit some thoughts on the LCP Max and give it that honest shake, which is what I thought we tried to do in today's video. Ruger fanboy Bacon Nation did his best to really sell the LCP Max and its performance and hope that the misdirection fooled you. Though eagle-eyed viewers or even those with half an eye watching it were probably fairly unconvinced by his words. White Hat Bacon Nation, with much fewer words, tried to keep our video more grounded in reality, and really it didn't take much effort. Is the LCP Max at this point a terrible pocket pistol? Absolutely not. In a practiced hand, as we saw today, while it didn't shoot very pretty groups, and no, I'm not claiming to be John Slick, Jimmy Bond, or Annie Noakley, no. It still is capable of putting effective groups on paper. Remember, these are six inch targets at 10 yards, not a silhouette target at five or seven yards, like some of the keyboard warriors that comment are, you know, mostly practicing against. Anyway. Frederick, did you know some of your viewers are cat people they think you shouldn't get Tritos on camera you know what I have to say about that Frederick 
two Tritos. And I made them crunchy, just like you'll like. You know, Fred, we could talk about how cat people, when they die, their cat's going to eat them. Whereas on a dog, your, your, you know, your best friend is going to protect you and wipe out your porn history before your family finds your computer. The difference between cats and dogs is massive. It is. It's not quite as massive of a difference between the LCP Max and the Bodyguard 2.0, but in some ways it feels like it. Things like recoil, there's no doubt that the Bodyguard 2.0 has significantly better recoil than the LCP Max and other what I'm calling micro pocket LCPs. As far as carryability, concealability goes, for most people, the LCP Max and the Bodyguard 2.0 are going to be extremely similar in their carryability. Is there a difference? Absolutely. And here's where I noticed the difference on a day like today, where I probably wouldn't have noticed it, say, two years ago. Eight tenths of an ounce gym shorts. With the LCP Max, while it's pocketable, and you will see many people comment on how easy it is to carry in gym shorts. Can you? Sure. There are times, though, can I? No. Even in gym shorts, drags my gym shorts down. In the wrong pocket, here's something that, that you don't hear mentioned, that you probably should hear mentioned. For the male viewers, in the wrong pocket, if you're doing more than just, we'll say, waddling, you might have pinball off the twins, which is... It's not comfortable for many of us. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say any more on the topic. Let's move on so it doesn't get awkward. Is it better with the Bodyguard 2.0 in those pockets? Slightly. It's not 100% better, but it's better. Uh, thinner. It is thinner. Fractionally thinner. A little bit lighter and those two things do add up to a slightly more concealable pistol for some though it is a longer pistol so you have to weigh that so if you're someone where the length of the slide you want like the shortest slide lcp max a little shorter grip length while they look similar and the lcp max or excuse me the bodyguard 2.0 has more grip in terms of hand grip the difference in bore access sort of cancels that out the lcp max has a higher bore access negating sort of the short grip on it and what that should do to the height of the pistol anyway <clears throat> trigger trigger pull as we see on paper a five pound trigger pull for both firearms while that sounds identical there is a big difference between the Ruger safe action trigger and what we're going to call the Smith & Wesson flat face trigger here. They both have what I'm going to call a Glock style trigger safety and not identical to Glock, obviously one more shoehorn than the other. And both of them, I say, I would say, do you, am I concerned about say pocket lint? being Murphy's Law at the day of most need a little bit, which is why a good holster, in my opinion, that covers your trigger is key. So not all holsters are the same. You'll definitely want to investigate that on your own. Do I have one that I kind of like? Yes. Do I like it enough to where six billion people uh, who can view the video on YouTube and critique it to show it to them? Not so much, but maybe one day we'll see. All in all, when it comes down to it, both these firearms are very good firearms, but I think it's hard to argue 
so far that the Bodyguard 2.0 isn't better in every area compared to the LCP Max. It's more concealable, same concealability, or excuse me, it's more concealable, same capacity. In my opinion, I prefer the sights on the Bodyguard. I prefer that more finer front dot, but certainly there's room for others to go the other way. I'm no Judge Dredd on this, that's for sure. More mild recoil of certainly goes to the Bodyguard 2.0, which I think then translates to better accuracy, especially as accuracy gets farther away and you have follow-up shots. Not many people are going to take shots beyond 5, 7, 10 yards with these pistols. But if they do, Bodyguard 2.0, probably a little easier to make those shots for most people compared to the LCP Max. But that's just my opinion. So anyway, to wrap up the video here today, are both firearms very good? Certainly. Does the Bodyguard 2.0 have the edge? In my opinion, certainly. I do think that it puts Ruger on notice, like I've said before, that they need to step up their game more than just some slight ergonomic changes for whatever they have planned for the next LCP, because you know they're going to come out with something in that LCP family. In 380, it's kind of what they do at this point, which also means that some other manufacturers are probably thinking about what they need to do, or at least we can hope anyway. We want to see more 380 firearms out there. That's just going to help us get better firearms, or I should say even better firearms in the long run, and hopefully also cheaper ammo. Both of those things would always be nice. Well, anyway, that's probably a good spot to end today's video. If you enjoyed the presentation today, please like the video and share the video with your friends and family. Sharing the video really helps the algorithm help, you know, do its thing on YouTube for us. If you didn't enjoy the video today, let us know in the comments why, or sleep tonight knowing Fred is judging you. And if you're one of those cat people, Fred's probably also going to judge you. It's the nature of the beast. Right, Frederick? Well, anyway, thanks for watching. And as always, have a good night.